Tipperick. On to Faletel, that one-two working so well. And now there's a chance, and this man, Gareth Davis, can move like a wing. So Wales playing from left to right. The Italians, well, it's not been a great 2020 for the Azzurri. Sheedy. Neat little break there from... Nicky Smith is useful with the ball in hand. Chidi. Valatau and through burst Tipperick. And Tipperick has alongside in the score. What a dummy that was. What a stunning score. Kiridati eventually got it down. The running line was wonderful. The dummy sublime. And the finish, well, it was the way he tracked his man. Held up two metres out. Here's Hardy, on there to George North. Here's a fearsome fella to hold up, but they managed it. But for how much longer, Hardy? The little the dummy. The Hands up, Luca. Hands up. Just a few blades of the green, green grass between Wales and the second try. And I think they might have got there. Wayne Barnes wants to have a look here. That looks good for me. Uh, Wayne, that's all wing girl. Yeah, um, yeah was, still, yeah. still with your decision on field decision. So it is a second try for Wales. <laughs> Johan Mayer. The line out choice there from Luca Bici. Trying to get some momentum here at the Italians, but at the moment, he's just grabbing sideways. Kabishi at the moment doesn't want to release it to Varney, he has now. A little poke through from Kanna, and a wonderfully worked try, and it's that man, Marco Zanon. What creativity there by the Italians. That's what you want to see, reactive play. Marco Zano, he has been the top line breaker for Italy. So fast. Knew exactly where that ball was going. Out sprinted everybody, was never in doubt. Well, the Italians are short of a few tonight. You think of the two powerful players in the back row and Matteo Minozzi, who during the first half here over in Coventry was coming off the bench for his club Wasps in their defeat against Newcastle in the English Premiership. Well, Trula is proving quite a deputy. There's Canoni again. Varney's in position. On to Fischetti. Sperandio got Mayer outside, and here goes Mayer. Mayer gets past the wing, and Mayer then gets through Johan Lloyd. What a try from Italy. What a team try. Unbelievable. See, Italy will live off scrappy play. They want to play open rugby. They stretch Wales wing to wing. Tipperick up there to Wainwright. Wainwright will feel he has something to prove. Johan Lloyd into Maxi Mumbanda. Look at Mori there, he's over the ball. Tipperick onto Faletel. That one two working so well. And now there's a chance, and this man, Gareth Davis, can move like a wing. And how often has he scored vital tries for Wales? And that one could be utterly priceless. That could be the game changer at this point in time to be able to score a try like that, to completely blow open the Italian defence. This could be the one. Here's Steve Varney. Man born in Camargo. Zalocki just for a moment getting himself isolated. He was turned over. There's a real chance here for Wales. It's three against one out wide. Surely they must finish this off. Jonah Holmes cuts in field. The Italian defence has scrambled remarkably well, but can they hold it up? Have they got it down? The men in red seem to think so. I don't I don't see how clearly the ball is held up. Okay, so we stick with the on-field decision. Yeah. Thank you. So George North gets another against the Italians. That's a crucial try. Oh, 
George North. Tack all the way, Five. Not that one, thank so you. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Wales when you go through to the opening match of their Six Nations campaign, just 65 days away against Ireland down the road in Cardiff. So a lot of eyes will be on thank you. his first pick, 12 and 13. Sheedy timing it wonderfully to Falatau. And Falatau's got North alongside him. He's also got his mate, Tipperick. And Tipperick gets the score. How well those two have worked together Thank today. Once again, like you say, Tipperick and Falatau, they are linking up so nicely. Bram Stay, the one member of that world-class triumvirate of back row forwards who's still standing and available tonight, and surely this time, Monte Ioani flings the ball inside, but it goes into touch, and that will bring the whistle for the end of the match from Wayne Barnes. So it is a win for Wales, another win for Wayne Pivak, but how they had to work hard. But in the end, the scoreline, well, it shows some dominance for the men in red, and they beat Italy infinitely by 38 points to 18.